Some of you might be thinking that the only way to solve this question would be using recursive CT. But there is a smarter way of doing this. What you can do is. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Average Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding change the null values in a table to the previous value. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay. The question reads, we are given a table called coffee shop with two different columns, ID and drink, ID being the primary key for this table. Each row in this table shows the order ID and the name of the drink ordered. Some drink rows are nulls. Okay, we are asked to write a solution to replace the null values of the drink with the name of the drink of the previous row that is not null. It is guaranteed that the first drink on the first row of the table is not null. Return the result table in the same order as the input. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we have the first row as rum and coke. Second and third drinks are nulls. Fourth and fifth we have some values and then sixth drink is null. So basically what we need in our output in the same order. So 9, 6, 7, 3, 1, 2. This should be rum and coke. Then rum and coke, rum and coke, St. German spreads, or in margarita and or in margarita. And that is what we should have. So to solve this question, the first thing that we need to maintain is the sanctity of the order of this table because the question says return the result table in the same order as the input. So what we can do is let's rank based on the current format or the current order of this table. So what we can do is we can use the row number ranking function. So from this table called coffee shop, what we should do is let us keep both the columns so select star and then use row number and since row number is a window function we need to write over clause and we are you know not doing any order by anything etc we, all we are doing is maintain the sanctity of the order of this table and let's alias this as original order or whatever like row order does not matter right ro okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay now if you look at this so we had this was the table that we had and this is the rank ordered that we got. Okay. Now once we have this, then another thing that we can do is some of the drinks could be null and some not. What we can do is we can assign that. Okay. If your drink is not null, assign a value of one else you assign a value of zero. Why we are going to do that is some of you might be thinking that the only way to solve this question would be using recursive CT that. If your drink value is null, go to the previous one. If it is null as well, go to another previous one, right? So keep doing the thing in a loop. But there is a smarter way of doing this. What you can do is let me go ahead and assign those values and we will talk about it, right? So that's kind of a shortcut of solving this question. Case when your drink is null, then you assign the value zero else you assign the value one in the case statement and let's alias this as flag whether the drink is null or not let me go ahead and run this so that's another column here so here we have the flag now if you think about it if we perform the rolling sum of the flag we are actually going to get a way to partition basically what you need to do is these three should be in one partition and you take the first value and assign that first value to the nulls one this could be a hold together another partition because the next row also has some other drink in this right and these two row could be one partition what i mean by that is firstly let's what what should we do is let us save this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then from this cte what we are going to do is let us calculate rolling sum so with from cte select all the columns that we have select star and then perform a sum of the flag column over and then let us do since need to we since we need to maintain this order so let's order by ro and then rows between unbounded preceding and current row what is this going to do is Okay, let me just explain this. So basically what this is going is 
the cursor starts here and says unbounded precision mean start at the very top the very top of this table is this first row right so from there at the current the cursor is currently here so okay unbounded precedent current row right now is the same row so the sum will be one then the cursor goes here start at unbounded preceding that means start at the first one and then current row is on the second row so one plus zero is one again if the cursor moves down one plus zero plus zero, one then cursor moves here 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 that is 2 right so that is what is going to happen and let's alias this as rolling sum rs let us go ahead and run this okay so now if you look at this what do we have here we have the rolling sum right 1 1 1 then 2 and 3 and now using this you see we can create partition the partition by the rolling sum and then in that particular partition take the first value why because first value is always going to be the non-null one right so what we can do is let us save this entire thing in a common table expression 2 so this becomes cte2 this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we are going to basically do is from this common table expression 2 let us do this so select star and then calculate the first value or get the first value of the drink column over and this should be partition by the rs or rolling sum and let's alias this as whatever drnk because we don't need all the columns but let for the sake of this uh, let's run this okay now if you look at this let me just drag it to the left so that is easier for us to visualize so now here you look right so initially you had rum and coke null and null now you have rum and coke rum and coke rum and coke and then you have the same ones and then you have orange margarita here okay now obviously we do not need all these columns all we needed the two columns the id and the drink and then should be the this this column that we created so basically in our output what we need is select as the id part and then the column that we created and this should be aliased as drink and it should be in the same order as the input so what we had we had the initial row order right so we can go ahead and do order by initial row order okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so even though this says accepted here right and our output looks exactly like expected output there is a problem with this current logic what is the problem can you identify what is happening here so here what we are doing is so we are returning id let me just you know go ahead and do this let me just go back to select star part and then uh, let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay this is again row, wrong answer obviously but let me just tell you what the problem will be happening if i go ahead and submit this so here what we are doing is so we are we were returning id column and then the first value of the drink okay id column let's forget about that first value of the drink column partitioned by the rs so now these three become so this row basically become these three rows basically become one partition what i am doing is i am partitioning by the row and calculating the first value here you think that the first value is coming out to be rum and coke but actually since you are not ordering by anything a partition could be that even if it looks like this the sql does not know so you should need to explicitly man mention that since you are returning the first value or partition by rs order by ro so that we then can get the first value and in that case it is always going to be non-null okay let me go ahead and submit it and you are going to see the issue hey look at this right so what do we have here is if you look at this right so let me just expand this so here it says blueberry margarita null 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 a lot of nulls so obviously it should be blueberry margarita six times right but here in our output what we are going is getting is nulls but it is expected this right so you see what the problem is happening is since you are not ordering by this that is the issue but if i go ahead and do this change right let me just drag it to the left let me just add order by row order so that once this partition right so these six rows partitions is created this was initially would be ranked one right initial row order would be one so that this always comes first and then you take the first value then all these values will be populated as 
blueberry margarita let me go ahead and submit it and let's see what happens so you see this is accepted and this is how we do it so basically what we did in this question is that firstly we found out the initial row order because the question mentions that then what we did was we identified which rows are null rings and which are not created a flag then using that flag created the rolling sum column because that is going to help us create the partitions and once we were ready with it we partitioned by the rolling sum and ordered by the row order so that we can get the first non-null drink value and return by the same order as the input so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video